In this video, we continue our look at pulleys by solving an example problem. Uh, our example here is what is the acceleration of a 3 kilogram mass shown below, assuming it is on a table that's frictionless. So here we've got a block that's 3 kilograms. There's a rope attached that goes over one physics pulley to a 5 kilogram mass, and another one that goes over here to a 12 kilogram mass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work this first by dealing with each of the three masses, drawing free body diagrams and solve them, and then either uh, later I will attempt to do this in a single mass uh, system by showing you how we can ignore the ropes altogether as internal forces. So first things first, let's draw free body diagrams for all three blocks. So there's one, and there's two, and there's three. And we can call them A, B, and maybe C. And I've got a weight, that's WA, and I have a tension, that's T1. And I'm going to set my axis for this one here first, let's go ahead and draw M. I've got a tension here, I'll call that T2. I got a tension over here, that's T1, that's the same tension as the tension on this block here, is the same as the tension on the other side of the block. I've got a normal force, and I have a weight B. And over here I have a weight C and a tension T2. Again, this tension is the same as the tension over here since it's going over a massless pulley. And I need to set up an axis. So for this one right here, I'm going to call this XY. So let me do that on this diagram. I'll put it in different colors so it'll be easy to see it. So there's x, there's y. Then I have to apply the law of the gun. So if I apply the, the rule of the gun, then if this block was to go this away in the x, that would cause this to rise. So that means this direction is x, and that's y. And as I go across and around this pulley, this block goes down. So that's the positive x. So that's x and that's y. So this axis goes with this diagram, this axis goes with this block, and this axis goes with that block. <coughs> this is applying the rule of the gun. If you don't remember the rule of the gun, or you haven't learned it, go back and look at the previous video where I showed how to do that. Now. I want to use my three free body diagrams and write Newton's laws. So we have some of the forces in X is equal to mass A times AX. Some of the forces in X is mass B AX. And some of the forces in X is mass C AX. Now there are also y equations, and I'm not writing them because I can find them if I wanted, but they're not helping me solve what I'm looking for, which is the acceleration AX. The acceleration of this block, the block C, is the same as the acceleration of block B, is the same as the acceleration of block C. So both B, A, and C have the same acceleration, that's why they didn't need to have subscripts. Now reading this free body diagram, I have a plus T1s in the X, and in the minus Y, which would be down this way, I have minus WA. And that's MAAX. Okay, that's equation one. Over here, I have T2, that's in the positive X. And I have a minus T1. And that's equal to MB AX. And reading this diagram in the positive X is WC. 
minus in the negative x is t2 and that's m c a x. I call that equation 3, I call equation 2. Now we simply add the three equations together adding 1, 2, and 3 we get T1 minus WA plus T2 minus T1 plus WC minus T2 and this is equal to MA plus MB plus MC times AX and what I've done I've kind of skipped a step for time's sake but this term this term and that term when added together have a common AX so I factor that common AX out now let's see what we have out of this notice that the T1 cancels this minus T1 this T2 cancels this minus T2 so I have WC minus WA is MA plus MB plus MC times AX. Notice the strings are const have gone completely away. I want to go back and look at the diagram just a little bit. So what we're saying is if I consider this whole thing to be a single object like I did in the previous video then the only forces external are not these ropes they would be internal so in other words I'm thinking about this kinda like I got this like amoeba free body diagram so that's all inside these ropes are all internal forces the only external forces would be gravity here which we call WA and gravity here which we call WC and this one is in the positive X and that one is in the minus X so we should see the difference in those two forces and that's what we see here WC minus WA what goes over here that's the total mass and then I get acceleration AX so I could have made a single amoeba and I'll do that if I have time and worked the problem in one line and skipped all of these other steps provided I don't care about finding the tensions in the string I'm gonna go ahead and do something else I'm gonna write this person as MC G minus M A G is M A plus M B plus MC AX and that says that AX is equal to mass C minus mass A over the total mass MA plus MB plus MC times G and so that's my final formula and the rest is just plugging numbers but we want to check our work and make sure it makes sense. This says that if mass C is bigger than mass A, the acceleration will be positive. Let's go back up and look at our drawing. If this is bigger than that, then the acceleration will be in the positive X, which means that it will go down this away and up that away. That makes total sense with what I'm used to. On the other hand, if MA is bigger than MC, then you get a negative number in our formula, which means it goes this direction and if the two are the same there is no acceleration now I should be careful when I say it will move that away or whatever I'm assuming it starts from rest if in fact it was moving upwards but this was a bigger mass than that then the acceleration would be negative even though the velocity would be positive it would simply be slowing down and eventually would turn around and go the other way there really is a difference between velocity and acceleration so when we say, oh, we'll move, we're thinking that this thing is starting out at rest. All right. And if it started at rest, then the velocity and the acceleration would then match up at later time. Um, 
let's go ahead and put some numbers in here. Let's see, I see 15, 20 kilograms total mass. So AX is 12 kilograms minus 5 kilograms. times 9.8 meters per second squared divided by 20 kilograms. So we have to bring up our little calculator. So 7 times 9.8 divided by 20 3.43 meters per second squared. Notice that that's a constant acceleration, so that means we could apply the kinematic equations to find out other things, like how fast it would be going at some amount of time if you gave me the initial speed and so forth. So we can connect to all those problems we've done previously. The only thing that's new about this type of problem is the handling of these pulleys. And the only thing we did to handle those pulleys different from other problems is we rotated these axes by the rule of the gun. That's it. Nothing else new. Otherwise it's just like every other problem. So this takes advantage of string problems and it takes advantage of just regular block problems. The only thing that's different is you've rotated your axis using the rule of the gun. Okay. I'll see you in another video.